So now it fits. Now I'm going to trim my lid by putting it in the gallery, pressing down, taking off the extra, making it nice and clean. Make sure it fits. So it only got a little bit of play. That's, that's acceptable. Make sure, go back in and make sure that this is smooth, clean. Now it's ready for the T-strainer. So to make a T-strainer, I want to dent in the side of it some. This denting in is going to let the leaf strainer be, um, I don't know if it's concave or convex, depending on which side I guess you're looking at. So I'm going to start by making a ring. And as I make that ring, I'm going to press in the center more. So the reason I want it concave or convex, I don't know which one, is so that the leaves or the tea bag, whatever you're using, isn't going to fill in all the holes. If it's still on this plane, it can just suck right up against the side. This is going to kind of prevent that some. Now if you've got a really thick pot, this is going to be a lot harder to do. If it's thin, it gives really easy and stretches out. If it's thick, sometimes it'll rip rather than stretch out. Make sure it's clean. So that's far enough, I think. Let's see if I can show you what it looks like on the inside right now. See that little bump? That's going to be the tea strainer now. So I'm going to take a needle tool and start in the middle, make a little hole, wiggle it around. I'm going to keep doing that. Take the two pieces, and line them up, squish them together, and wiggle them till they stick well. Now they're attached. Then we're going to cut this at an angle, kind of figure out well, how's that going to be. I'm going to hold that against the teapot. Cut so that this is going to turn and make the pouring angle. I'm cutting through. So then this will go on like that. And again add the vinegar and alcohol. Score the spout up. And then attach it. If it's attached, I'm going to run a tool around the outside to seal it, make sure they're not going to leak later on. And he's done. He'll just need his handle now. Um, and I guess I should do a demo of that too, huh? So I'm going to pull a handle now. I started with a lump of clay. I'm going to kind of smooth it out. I want to taper it into what I call a rat tail. So it's round. I'm making sure I rotate it so that it stays round. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to flatten it out. So I'm going to put my thumb and I'm going to press on it so that it flattens. I don't want to make it too thin yet. I just want to flatten it out. 
Once it's flattened, I can give it a little decoration. I'm going to run my thumb down the center. Mm -hmm. Run my thumb down the center. Kind of stretch it out and then run my thumb down the sides of it. My thumb back in the middle. And it gives a nice, like, finished look. The reason I like pulled handles over extruded handles or handles that are cut out of something is that they taper. So they start thick and they get thin. Same on the width, they get thick to thin. That's a little more elegant, a little more refined. Um, and a little bit harder to do, which adds value to a piece. And that's one handle. So this is the teapot. I'm going to score up the two places where the handle is going to attach. In the back. And in the front. Making sure that I make them as big as the handles are going to be. And I'm going to take a handle. I'm going to cut off across. I'm going to take this base part. I'm going to tap it flat. I'm tap it a little more in the middle to match the curve of the teapot. I'm going to score it up. I'm going to put vinegar on the teapot and not on the handle because the handle is still soft. I'm going to take a handle. I'm going to kind of see how big it's going to need to be. Pinch off the extra. Kind of set the corners the way I want them. I'm going to dry it a little bit with a torch. So it'll hold itself up. I'm going to wiggle it onto the joint there and back here. Trying not to deform the handle too much so that it doesn't look overplayed with. And once it's in the position that I want, I can hit it with a torch and dry it off. Go. Teapot.